The Cards finished 2010 with a win and will be hoping to start 2011 with one against the same opposition in the form of Haganton Waterlooville. It won't be easy, however, as the home side welcome back club captain Ian Simpember as one of four changes from the team that lost at Kingfield last weekend. Graham Baker makes two changes to his side, Jerome Maladon replacing flu-stricken Mark Ricketts and Moses Adamola is preferred to David Gilroy. And Hamlin and Waterlooville will get this match underway here. There's Fogden on the ball, taking on Ricky and Ann. Then finding Mustafa Tiriaki, and it's back to Fogden. Can he get a shot away? He does, but it's well blocked by an Ann. Here comes the corner. And Manny Williams with the header there. And a little doing enough. And Sam Iago's shot is. Irrelevant, and the referee had already blown his whistle. Hammond into Joe Keehan. And now Lee Sawyer. Looking for Jerome Maladon, but the ball will come for Ricky and Ann with the low cross. Maladon with the flick. And Sam Pierce clears that away. Aaron Howe with the goal kick. Williams with the header. McNerney now. Oh, tries the back header. Fogden could be in. And he and Andy Little collide. What's the referee going to make of this? He's given a goal kick. The fans seem to think there was more in that for them. Come. And Simpemba with the header. And then Williams. And that's a foul by Pierce on Andy Little. Jerome Maladon steaming in here. And flying down the right wing. Gives the ball to Hammond. Still Hammond for Woking. 1-2 with Joe Keane. In comes the shot, but that's cleared away by Simpemba. Maldon now. And now Anand. And now Keane. And that's a good save from Howe. Joe Keane looking to add his second Woking goal in the last couple of matches. But how blocked his effort. Here's Lee Sawyer on the ball. And the Hammond defence gets the cross in. It could come to Hammond, but that's a good block by Simpemba. Long throw from John McDonald. Doyle with the header. Comes to Hopkinson. And that's a nasty looking foul there on Jero Maladon. And working aren't happy with him. What's the referee going to make of it? Certainly was high. That's a booking for Hopkinson. Sam Hurrell on the ball. Cutting inside now is Hurrell. Gets his shot away. That's comfortable for Howe in the end. Steve Ramsey with this free kick into the area. Again, Williams wins the header. Williams playing the ball into substitute Giuseppe Sol, who puts the ball into the area, but McNerney will get there first. Williams cries for handball against Doyle. Ball back to Williams, he puts the ball in the area, and there's Tiriaki with the header. And he'll probably feel he should have done better with that. Into the second half hit. Andy Little will clear this. Joe Keen with the header. Looking for Hammond. And now Moses Adimola. Looks for the run of Sam Horrell. Can he pick out Elvis Hammond in the box? Oh, he almost can't. Unlucky good move from the cards. And Howe with the goal kick. Tiriaki with the touch. Here's Giuseppe Sol. And then Manny Williams. And that's judged to have been a handball against Reese Knoll. Sure, he could have done too much about it. Sol and Tiriaki stand over this fray kick. Tiriaki scored at Kingfield from a similar place. Oh, and he's done it again. That's an excellent strike for Mustafa Tiriaki. And just like they scored at Kingfield, haven't have scored here, and it gives them the lead this time. So much power behind the shot. 51 minutes gone. And the home side lead. Here's Tiriaki. And then, oh, and that's a good ball from Manny Williams. And Fogden could be in. And that's just wide. 
And moments after taking the lead and haven't could be two goals ahead. Inches past the far post. Hopkinson with the ball into the area. Now Giuseppe Sol and now Fogden. Low shots and Andy Little does well to turn it behind. Here's Tiriaki. Now Williams. Low shot coming in. Once again, Little is a match for it. Captain today in the absence of Ricketts. Adimola now finding Ricky and now on the run. He tries to pick out Elvis Hammond who just can't quite get there. Sam Hull, the short corner. Lee Sawyer with the ball into the area, stabbed away by Pierce. Animola with the effort, could fall to Hammond low, and he does put the ball in the back of the net, but the offside flags up. Animola's miss hit shot, just think, yes, Hammond did look like he strayed just offside. Aaron Howe with the kick up field. Maldon wins the header, Hammond will try and get there and then Hopkins and McDonald collide and that allows Kean to try and feed Ricky and Anne and he gallops into the area, could have been taken out by Pierce there almost. Oh and there's Kean with the header and Woking are back on level terms. Joe Kean's second goal in the week and it's a fine header as well. Ricky and Anne clipping the ball back to him. And Woking are back in this match. It's an excellent header by Kean. 72 minutes gone, and it's 1 1. Here's a Nan on the run, feeding the ball to Elvis Hammond. And he goes past McDonald and gets a low shot in. Now does well to block it. Long throw coming into the area. Manny Williams with the half chance there. Be Hopkinson with this free kick into the danger zone. Could fall to Giuseppe Sol, and that's an excellent block in there. Working on the back foot here. Williams, now Fogden, and that ball could fall to Sol, but that's excellent defending by substitute Aswood Thomas. Ball will end up with Andy Little. And the referee will blow the final whistle and Woking come away from Havant with a point. And that's not a bad result. Graham Baker will be fairly content with that, I imagine. Woking start 2011 with a draw.